women will still pretty much on average gain 30 pounds with menopause whether or not they take hormone replacement therapy. What I find is that taking hormone therapy for the purpose of avoiding weight gain or to lose weight should not be done. Taking hormone therapy should be done individually based upon the woman. You know, in, in my medical career of 20 years, it changed dramatically how hormone replacement was done. Whereas a woman was made to feel like she was a bad patient. She had to leave the office with her arm twisted behind her back if she didn't agree to take hormones, essentially. Um, and then it changed to, no women should take hormones. Get off these hormones immediately. And of course, I saw many women who suffered with that because they felt good on hormones. And when they were taken away, they felt awful. And then there's everything in between. So some women truly need hormones and some women truly don't. You know, so it really comes down to quality of life, symptoms, and we're all very individual. What I think the Women's Health Study has done has made hormone replacement better. Because now, the way it was done before is, if you went through a menopause, pretty much you were given horse-based estrogen, the same dose for every woman, no one checked the level ever, I'm, not, I'm exaggerating because I was doing it in the years before that, and many other good doctors were, as, but many doctors didn't check levels, if you felt good, you felt good, fine, if not, you know, that type of thing. But when I checked levels, I found that some postmenopausal women on hormones had an estrogen level of 500. And in a premenopausal woman, your estrogen level might be 500 for 12 hours, right before you ovulate. You know, in this little peak, but this postmenopausal woman is wearing a patch or she was taking something by mouth where her level was 500 all the time. That can't be good. You know, so with the Women's Health Initiative, women who really feel that they need to take hormone therapy are able to work with physicians who now monitor the levels very carefully and want to give women uh, lower possible doses, the least amount that improves the benefits, and not just putting every woman on the same size hormone therapy and never checking levels. So I think it's much better care. But women do not have to come off of hormone therapy if they really feel that it's best for them and their doctors feel it's best for them. But I definitely would not recommend taking it just to avoid weight gain or to lose weight if you've gone through menopause because the data is just not there.